Yeah, so like, yeah, but like I was saying in a previous segment, man, Yahweh Shah is going to come up, come and set up the kingdom of heaven on this side. So recapping on what I said, it says, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit on the throne of his glory, following in regeneration means in the reincarnation. So you brothers out there that's followed the Lord and that's engaging in the work, okay, you've sacrificed, you gave things up, it continues to follow the Lord, you let things kind of be, you know, whether it be whatever. Turned down million dollars, who knows? But basically, man, we're going to be set up in rulership with the Lord, okay? And we're going to get all these things back and, and then some. So what's lost is not really lost. It's just a matter of the Lord testing your integrity. Because it says here, uh, you should also sit upon 12 thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel. And this is not a fairy tale, okay? I mean, Jake makes it so hard to make the Bible believable. But it's not hard because when you look in history, you believe in Alexander the Great, you believe in Domitian Caesar, you believe in Nero, you believe in uh, Claudius Caesar, Julius Caesar, Philip the Macedon, you believe in uh, Xerxes, Antiochus. If you believe in all these figures, then why can't you believe in the figures that's written in the scriptures? Okay, because the Lord said he's going to set up the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of Israel. Now, when you look at the prophecies, everything that's written in the Bible is coming to pass. Okay, it's happening according to what's written. So that means everything else has to be true too. Okay, the Bible ain't just jump over certain things and oh, well, that was a coincidence. No, the scriptures is 144% accurate, man. Okay, and Esau knows that. And this is why this is the highest selling book on the planet. But it says, and everyone that have forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife mm, or children or lands, for my name's sake, should receive a hundredfold, right? So we're going to receive these things back plus more. So we're going to get families back. We're going to get our wives back. We're going to get our mothers, our children, lands, you know, et cetera, which in the kingdom, um, as far as us having parents, I mean, you had the most high, the heavenly father, but you got to understand that the scriptures say those of here won't taste death. Some of be some of you here that won't taste death. So some of us, if we make it on this side, man, we're going to be basically our parents' parents. You know what I'm saying? Basically, my mother or my father and my mother, basically in the kingdom of heaven, I may have the luxury of bringing them back and I will be their father and mother type ordeal. Because we're going to be basically of Yahweh Shah, his stock, his source. Okay, like he says here, he's the first prototype born from the heavenly father. Okay, and we're going to be after him and his succession. So the heavenly father is going to be our particular power. Okay, with Yahweh Shah being our Lord and Savior. And the nation of Israel, we're going to rule over and the other nations. And it says here, or lands for my name's sake shall receive a hundredfold and shall, and shall inherit everlasting life. Okay. It says, but many that are first should be last and the last should be first. Okay. So point I'm making here, Luke 14, and I'm going to start at verses, let's uh, start at verses 22 because this whole thing is about going out there and waking the people up so this is luke 14 and 22 and the servant said lord it is done as thou hast commanded and yet there is room and the lord said unto the servant go out into the highways and hedges and compare them to come in that my house may be filled and this is why we go out to the streets okay to teach and to wake up those who this is for those that this is not for then you know they just don't catch on to it and you can obviously see that with the back and forth and the different dynamics we have with different jakes, even with different camps, whatever, that come up against us. You can see it. But it says here, For I say unto you, that none of those men that were bidden should taste my supper. And there went out great multitudes with them. And he turned and said to them, If any man come to me and hate not his father and his mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yea, his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. And whosoever doth not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Okay? So it says here, For which of you intending to build the tower, sit it down not first, and count at the cost? Would he have sufficient to finish this? So really you got to ask yourself, is this something I really want to be a part of? Okay? You got to ask yourself that because when you come into this truth, man, you're preparing your soul to deal with a lot of shit, man. Okay? And we ain't really dealt with nothing for real yet. And that's the thing. When things start to really turn up, man, Hey, all types of shit is going to, this, this truth is really going to test the character of a lot of men in this thing. That's why the scripture said that who works are tried by fire. Okay. Because honestly speaking, 
lot of us haven't really seen anything. We went through little disappointments here and there, but hey, we're getting to the time that we're getting ready to be tested to our limits, man. Okay, when they put this karagman in, in our faces, man, hey, it's going to be more than just, okay, you're going to say no to the MOTB and up, oh, you go your own way. No, man. They're going to try to pull the puzzle on you. They're going to try to threaten your family. If your brothers got children out there that you may be close with, women, they're going to try to flip them. They're going to try to flip brothers in your churches or your camps or your households. These are things that you really got to consider if you really built up for this or not. Okay, because you're going out to the streets speaking every week. You know what I'm saying? Are you really about this thing? Are you really ready to lose everything, even your life for this truth? Okay, and I don't, and, and, you know, I'm not speaking uh, uh, for everybody in this thing, you know, because I can't really do that and say this, but do brothers really count the cost? Do they really, do they really understand what they're part of? Okay, because honestly, we tell brothers now, hey, if this ain't, if it's too much for you, get the hell out now while you can. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because, hey, Either way it go, you're going to be tested and you're going to falter or you're going to fall out. So remember, man, this thing is, is, is we all going to be tested, brothers, man. We all going to be tested in one way or another, man. And this test is just, they're just going to intensify more, more and more and more and more, man. Okay. So it says here, less happily after he had laid the foundation and is not able to finish it, all that behold it begin to mock him, right? So that's why when a lot of guys fall out, you know, they be big, bad, gung-ho scoffers and scorners coming against brothers, coming against the apostles, sublimely speaking about us, you know, behind our backs and shit. Hey, man, but when they finally give up that mantle, then you're going to be the ridicule of mocking and scorning because why? You know, you, you, you played the game. You sat down and you didn't consider your portion you had. You thought it was just going out and reading Bible scriptures, man. No, this is a whole lifestyle. This whole faith revolves around changing the mindset. Okay, and really to deal with what comes to you. You know what I'm saying? Just me personally speaking, I've sacrificed a few things in this truth, man. I'm not going to speak on all of it, but, you know, the Lord took some great things from you, you know, some things that meant a lot, you know. And, hey, and I ain't talking about no fucking car. No, not shit like that. That's baby shit. You know what I'm saying? That's, that type shit happens. But I'm just saying, like, you know, people in, in your lives, man, that's friends, you know, kids. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, personally speaking, you know, like my daughter, she doesn't live here with me in this in this particular domain where I'm at. Would I've liked it? Yeah, but hey, the Lord had a different plan. You know what I'm saying? And that's something I had to take on the chin. But it is what it is because we just read in Matthews 19, we're gonna get those things back and more. So I can't let that stop me. You know, I have to tell myself that I'm working to wake up our people and hopefully the Lord have mercy somehow, some way. Hey, the angel may land it right on my doorstep, man. Things happen. You know, it's all messed up and out of out of out of distance now. But regardless of that, things happen. You know, I've got faith in that. An angel may just teleport her here. It can happen, man, you know. And I can see it happening. But I gotta finish my portion first, you know. And hopefully that the Lord, you know, find one of my side. Not just just one. That's a one a major one, but it's it's several ones after that too, you know. But I'm just using her as an example. And brothers can relate to that, you know. Brothers have lost women they love. They they lost houses. They lost all types of shit. You know, for the Lord. So hey, that's a noble thing. You know? And it says here, saying this man began to build and was not able to finish. Okay, so that's the point. We got to finish this portion and coming into this faith it is a sacrifice too, man. Because like I said, man, you're sacrificing time. You're sacrificing livelihoods. Hey, your job may see you out of there. Out there, you may have an opportunity and then they see you out there on the streets. They could say, oh, you preaching hate and you preaching venom. You preaching aggression. You preaching all this other madness. You know, they may just find a way to fire you, man. Okay. So you're risking your freedom too, because technically what they're trying to say we're doing is high treason, which... That's not true because honestly speaking, we have what you call the First Amendment. But once the this is done away with, we're not going to be able to go out on the streets when martial law is declared. We're not going to be able to go out on the streets and prophesy every week. Okay, that's a capital punishment punished by death. And that's what they're going to break it down to. It's going to be a capital punishment if they catch you out there teaching this word, man. Okay, and they're going to lock you up and they're going to detain you and they're going to put you to death. And honestly, Boz being on the YouTube talking. We are already slated for capital punishment. It's just a matter of time when they can make shit stick on us. Don't think they ain't trying to find something on us, man. 
Don't think they ain't sending people around you and to your homes and to your jobs to get information from you to see what kind of mindset you have. Don't think that they're not going to pay off people in your corner, people in your family to lie on you, man. Be very don't don't be surprised on when they start to try to locking brothers up and putting brothers on the on the podium or on the on the council stands. And don't be surprised if you got everybody that you thought was for you in your and that you thought was in your corner. That's basically going to testify against you. Yeah, I remember he used to do such and such to me. I remember when he did this to my kid. I remember when he did this to my brother. And it's all going to be a lie. You know what I'm saying? And it's all going to be a lie. And that's all Esau going to need to do to fucking throw you under the jail and bring you head first to the guillotine. You know? So, yeah, man, it's, it's, it's a lot to think about. It is a lot to think about when you really think about what you're in. It's a lot, man. It's not a light thing. You know, that's why I just don't get with certain guys, man. They think that this thing is a freaking joke. This thing is not no damn joke, man. You know what I'm saying? This is not a joke. That's why, hey, we always preach, put your best foot forward, man. Okay, because, hey, you put your best foot forward. The Lord, he going to deliver you through these things. Yeah, it's going to be shitty, but he's going to take you through each and every last trial, man. You know, you may not feel like you're going to make it because, you, you know, you get weak. Your flesh get tired, you know, but, hey, the Lord, man. He going to bring us through it if we remain faithful. And that's the whole key, remaining faithful. You know what I'm saying? Remaining faithful. Because when it gets scary, a lot of people going to turn their back on the Lord and they're going to look the other way. I'm trying to tell you now, man. All right. So take heed. Uh, Matthews 10 and 34. Matter of fact, let's start at verses uh, 37. It says, he that loved his father more than, more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loved his son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And he who taketh not his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. And he that found that his life shall lose it. And he that loseth his life for my sake shall find it. Okay. And that's the whole point, man. And he that received it, you received it me. And he that received it me, received it him that sent me, man. Okay. So, hey, brothers, man, just, just keep in mind and, and, and stay focused. You know, stay focused. Stay prayed up. You know what I'm saying? Ask the Lord for guidance. Ask him for answers. Things that you need clarity on. Ask him. You know? Ask him. Lord is good at, at, at telling brothers what they need to know when they need to know it. You know what I'm saying? And you can't rush the Lord. Yeah, you can ask the hasten prayers, but you got to let the Lord give it to you when he needs to give it to you. Because remember, he knows us better than we knows ourselves. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, pray to the Lord, man. If you don't get the answer in a day or two, then don't fret. This is going to come when it needs to come. And you, when you got faith in that, then, I mean, you shouldn't have a problem at that point. Anything else is just basically your flesh. Needed to know shit now. When it's gonna come, when it needs to come. Like I say with the spiritual power, brothers, it is gonna come when it needs to come. Okay, it's gonna come when it needs to come. Yes, it's a prayer you ask daily, but the Lord is gonna give us the power whether you pray for it or not. You know why? Because if He chose you to get the power, it's already gonna be given to you. But it's gonna be in your spirit to pray for it because that's the Lord's will. So you see how it lines up. But I'm in it there, brothers, giving all praises and glory and honor that is due to you. How about you, man? How was shy? And with that, Shalom and a Baba Ball. Shalom.